Roberts has got it now. Half forward. They've got the loose man going, looking for McLuhan. He's took it away from Langford. Now, he'd be about 40 metres out from goal. Let's see whether the uh, captain can kick this one from. He's already kicked two. There it is on its way. It might be a goal. It is. Great goal and great play by McClure. He's third goal. Seven goals, one forty. Again, picked up by Johnston, who's been brilliant this afternoon. Bounce favours McClure. Oh, beautiful. Here's a goal. 14 points the difference now in favour of Carlton. That's what they wanted. Murphy's first goal convince yourself of certain things that you want. And it's the umpires that are the problems. That's isn't exactly it? right. Here's McClure taking a lovely mark and uh, he's been right out of the game. Uh, Langford's done a great job on McClure. He's had three kicks but has been uh, fairly quiet as we see him a long way out from goal. Let's see what he does with this. It's a high drop punt. It holds Look up the in win. the breeze. But Kerner... The way Hawthorne are playing, I, I think Essendon have their work cut out today. I think... Uh, Way things are shaping up, Essendon have thrashed Collingwood on Saturday, of course, and uh, Hawthorne doing particularly well today. I think they're both those sides are going to be right up there again this year, as we see Mark McClure from half forward with a long driving drop punt that's coming back, and I think that's a goal. All down the forward line now. There's plenty of options open, but he goes streaming down towards Kernan. Mark McClure! What a terrific mark from the skipper. Hasn't done much today, Mark McClure but now starting to come into the game in the last quarter. Well, Carlton is starting to play with a lot of confidence then. You can see the arrogance of Duel. He took the bit between the teeth. Playing at fullback is responsible for Mark McClure's mark with a well-set-up kick. Now McClure lining up for Carlton's 14. The ball holding up. It makes that distance. So Good play. Tommy Alvin streams out of the centre and sends it down the half-forward line. He's got Motley on his own. And Motley uh, in front of Francis. Send it down to full forward. McClure and Mark McClure getting away from McElwain. And the, uh, the captain is starting to get his act together, Don. Well, actually, you've got to pay credit where it's due. We just mentioned Bradley going down on the centre of the ground. He got up, he initiated the handball, went back into the packet, centre half back, got a quick handball across to Alvin, and Alvin transferred the ball or initiated play, and we see the end result. Mark McClure taking a mark well within kicking range as he lines up for his second. And there it is, Carlton's 15. As Mark McClure kicks his second, and Carlton... Seem to be getting into and that Blackwell. Carlton seem to be uh, backing up now better than the Tigers as Mark McClure swoops in onto the left foot mark, has a shot for goal, and he's put it through. And the Blues are now going right away. Formic, one out in the back, I'd say. No umpire. He says play on as Craig Bradley gets the ball, chips it into McClure, and Mark McClure has taken another mark. Well, Don, they'd have to be happy with Craig Bradley, Carlton, on well, today's. He, well, he's come into the game, but it's easy to come into the game well when your team is playing well and all the Carlton players are now playing well. McClure took an easy mark there. That was well shepherded by Shine. Shine knocked McCormack off balance just as McClure is about to take the mark. And McClure is coming in for his fourth goal. And he makes no mistake. And Carlton... Well, tackled by Rendell. Took the mealist free kick in the centre. Dorotich took a divot then. Looks as though he's hurt himself. McClure, what positioning of the body. Fifth kick for McClure. And it's taken by Kenny in front of his opponent, Hinchin. Handball on to Blackwell. Blackwell a long way from Blakey. Up to McClure and McClure marks in front of Gary Perth. Mark McClure now. Chance to kick his second goal. I wonder About what the captaincy's done to him. He's giving Perth a bath here in the last 10 minutes. Seven kicks coming up for Mark McClure. About 40 metres out. On a difficult angle. A goal umpire straight over the top of his head for another goal to the Blues. One on one at full forward. McClure in front with Keane. McClure's second opponent. 
Left foot snap back to goal. Corgamilis. And a goal. Running into space is Motley. Oh, Bradley. Good set up this by Carlton. Great tackle. But Motley still got it. McClure. By Mark. Winds them up. Goal. Carlton fans haven't yelled like this since the last quarter of the 82 grand. Was picked up by Kernahan. Look for the hand pass. Back to Johnson again on the Meldrum. who's having a great year. Meldrum shot at goal. Will go pretty close. It won't quite be a score. At the back, Mark McClure. Then from, can we say, his hometown crowd. He came from Sydney originally. And Mark McClure will bring up the first goal of the match from only about three metres out. On replay now, we see McClure from behind. Judge that one to perfection. And if he misses this one, he'll hang his head in shame. But he, he won't miss it. He'll sit on the, the wing coming hammer the play. I think he would. First goal of the match to Carlton at the 1 minute 20 mark of the first. Blue with a long one. But there's no one there for uh, Carlton. Oh, that was foolish, but I think he spotted some. Well smothered by Johnson, picks it up all right, ducks. He's clear now, another long hand pass. Ashman tapped it over to McClure, can't pick it up, it'll bounce, okay, great play. Chance for a goal, now he's gone for a hand pass, back to Ashman, runs right to the open goal. Oh, that level. Oh, that was good play, but... He kicked Curnahan, short pass, on to Johnston. Playing well for Carlton, Johnston's kick is a high one, that's almost a mark down there to Williams. McClure, well, McClure has come down with it. This bar, he's a fantastic governor, aren't you, Bob? Yeah, you've summed it up, Lou. A real goat. And M Mark McClure, let's watch that again. Williams and McClure, the two flyers for Carlton. Oh, interesting. McClure came down with it anyway. I'm sure they both had their hands on it. McClure directly in front. He's only about 30 metres up. Should have no trouble in making it his second goal. He can go. Once again, the scores will be level. Goal on bias. They need Superman's number now to beat. Knocked on by Bradley. Up to half forward. Murphy. Can he get clear of Roberts? He does so. Gets around Mitchell. Fires it up deep into the forward pocket. Over the back. McClure takes a great mark and a chance to bring Carlton still back into contention. He's only about 10 metres out from goal. Here's the mark and replay. Good use of the body. Fine judgment by the Carlton skipper. McClure's already kicked two. to Robertson over to Blackwell. Ball shot short. Hunter picks it up on the half volley at centre field. Looking for a lead out wide. Coming out as McClure and Dersma. Ah, oh, great play by McClure, but he's tagged. He gets it back to Johnson. He's well within kicking distance. Boundary throw in. Right near the Carlton goal. Kernahan in front over the top of McClure. Tries to take it in the snapshot by the skipper. Doesn't look bad. Oh, great goal kicked by McClure. What a great captain's effort. Four goals to Mark McClure, 98 to 113, still the Blues won't lie down, 26 minutes in, can they pull it out of the fire? He handles it very, very quickly, long, up towards the forward line, McClure, great mark! Towards uh, Bernie Evans, Evans towards half forward, Mark McClure, oh, handball over the top, here's a chance for Carlton, here goes Blackwell into the open goal, bang, he slams away! And Wayne Blackwell's put it through for another... Four. Now, he's kicked one from just out of the 50-metre range. He's looking for McClure, who's leading. There's the pass toward McClure. He gets in front and takes the mark. It looks just... It looks so easy. Anyhow, Carlton... Don't forget Carlton, I think, configure in this year's final series. I'm sure they will. And I think Carlton will really give it a shake this year if they can get to full strength. Now, McClure, about 40 metres out from goal. Can he kick another Carlton goal? He hasn't kicked any as yet. Mark McClure drops it onto the boot and just off line is it? No, it's a goal. It sneaked in for a goal. I thought the goal up by signalled a point there, but there's the start of the third quarter. A goal. Trace says Bernie Evans hooking it back. McClure against Turner. McClure nearly took it too. Over the back is Robertson. This is Shane Robertson. Oh, he goes back to McClure into the open goal and it's another one to the Blues. And this is a procession. Down and have a pot shot at the goals too. It's a beautiful looking kick. McClure, he flies! Oh. What a mark! He's wow, ripped he. all over that one. Mark McClure, the Carlton skipper. And this will be another goal coming up to the Blues. What a great mark though by McClure. He got up, he got the ride on Turner. 
and he accepted it at a beautiful mark. A lovely piece of work from Madden to Dorotich to McClure and from within, no, just outside of the goal square, McClure will take this shot at goal and try and kick his third goal. All in this quarter too, which you've seen on the big lead. Now, McClure, point blank range. Carlton have kicked 16 goals, 10, 106 points. Big Madden up in the forward pocket. Now he's going toward McClure. McClure opposed to Cole, too tall, too strong, and McClure takes the mark. Now it won't be an easy shot at goal. He's out 50 metres, as you see. That's the line we were talking about earlier in the day. That's the 50 metre mark that he is just about standing on. He'll kick from about that distance, but in the goal square, we have the big arms of Madden to try and claim anything that drops a bit short. McClure puts it on its way. It hasn't dropped short, though. It's gone through for another goal. A great goal. Kicked by... Ma Bradley's been outstanding for McClure. Now, he's got to run like Carl Lewis here if he's going to get to this first. Reese Jones may do the shepherding. Reese does it effectively. McClure keeps it in play. Goes over the top to Bradley. Get it across to Cranahan. The Glenelg boys are in business to Bernie Evans. They might muck it up. No! Cranahan's done it. Great play by Bradley. Evans. Cranahan. And Carlton have their first retreat. Yes, he's running around in front of us now, which is the applause you can hear as Johnston picks it up, has a hurried snap in towards the forward line. Ross Smith is there, so too is Glenn Denning. Kenny, but I reckon he's watched it sail through for a goal. He has. McClure. McClure at the bottom of the pack has kicked it. And only Sellers could jag those. So Carlton moved to 11-6. They're running all over North. 4-4 on Sevens. Big league. Well, it's hard to know what advice you could give. I know that they couldn't hear it anyhow, but uh, North Melbourne trailing Carlton by seven goals, too. They've only kicked 4-4, four, four, so it makes you think that uh, the job is pretty big that they have in front of them. You can't see them. Back into attack again. Oh, that's just about a mark. It'll be to McClure. And McClure giving out by the signal to say he grabbed that. The familiar Mark McClure salute. And the Mark McClure only about... Uh, 25 to 30 metres out directly in front. A big chance to score their first goal for the match. And we're just over the three-minute mark of the first quarter. Pete said a very big crowd here today. I would say it's well over the 50,000 mark, approaching 60,000. McClure taking plenty of time with this kick. Now he's got it. And that is a goal. That's the first goal of the match coming to Carlton at the three and a ball. Topped off by Alvin. A beautiful knock out to Bradley. Another hand pass to McClure. This could be his second goal as he shapes up and fires. It's a goal. So Carlton snaps the lead back again. Carlton moves on to three goals straight. But he goes for pass up there to Kernahan. Punched away by Langford. There's a go now as the ball comes out from McClure for Robertson. McClure will put this through for a goal. That's his third. And the Blues have hit the front. Bradley again. Here he goes. Can he make it another one? McClure in the square. Finishing all over Hawthorne. That was all done by Brett, uh, Buckley too, Pete. There was a lot of guts to get that ball out. McClure. I keep on repeating this. I'd leave him on the ground all the time. They've had him on and off, particularly in the first half. He just shows the courage that the side needs. Yeah, but Bradley had oh, the class there. Brilliant. Yeah. That was a brilliant play. But Mark McClure will never get an easier shot at goal. This will be his fourth, and the difference will be eight points. Which it is. Seven's big league scoreboard. Hawthorne, 15-17, 1-1-3. Carlton, 15-13, 1-0-3. I must say, we've had a great weekend of football, Pete. That was a great match up there in Sydney. Then we had the big one between Collingwood and... Mark McClure, nine kicks uh, to Peter Road as McClure has marked about 40 metres out from goal. Well, he's been tested here. He's out. He'll kick from about 45 metres. The line you see in front of him is 50 metres out. So he'll kick from around about 45. It'll be a difficult kick with the ball. He's hooked it a little bit, but it's gone through. It's a Carlton goal. So a good goal kick by Mark. Another chance for Carlton to come forward. It gets driven up there. A good bit of play by Bradley to McClure. And now from this distance, I reckon Mark McClure can kick this goal. He's only 30 metres out. So McClure taking this shot for goal. Strawn did well on him early in the day, especially in the first quarter. Kicked him right, I think he just about kept him kickless. But now we see McClure having this shot at goal from only 30 metres out. Should kick it. Mark McClure has kicked one. 
Oh, drives that one beautifully, but is it straight? Yes, it's a... Over to Bradley, to Reese Jones, and half forward pass. That's a beautiful pass coming up to McClure. Just the way he dropped it onto his boot, and he's a magnificent player, Reese Jones, when he's flying. I just think one of the most exciting players playing. I know he's like a bottle of nitro nitroglycerin when he can go off very easily. Now, Mark McClure from about 20 metres out on a bit of an angle. And that's another goal. So they uh, certainly are looking good now. Bargo, Robertson on the bottom left, half forward flank. Gets clear of Dwyer, short pass. That looks like it's OK. Is it the mark to McClure? Free kick, I think he's paying. Well, whatever it is, it's a McClure kick. Incidentally, Robertson's been a very good player today too, Peter. Number 38 for Carlton. Mark McClure has kicked one goal for Carlton. That was earlier in this quarter. McClure, 45 metres out. Should get the distance. And he has done. So McClure... Coming in the minute now as Walsh bounces the wrong way. Kernahan gets a hand pass to Glasgow. Over it goes to Silvani. This will be a goal for sure. Good hand pass to McClure on his own. There's no doubt about that one. A goal. So it's seven points the difference. Dreams down the centre. Who's he got there? McClure. Oh, what a magnificent mark from my captain Mark McClure. What a strong mark. He juggled it and held it in front of Barker. And the Carlton captain steadying the side down and should put this in. He's about 15, 20 yards out or 20 metres out right in front. And Caray, uh, Mark McClure, sorry, walking in. Head over the ball. Should kick this. Yes, it's a goal. Great goal, Mark McClure. Great mark. Punches the ball clear out to the centre. McClure chased the ball, paddles it on there. Intercepted uh, by Frawley. Frawley. Frawley trying hard. Oh, yes, can he get through? Got to get rid of that ball, son. Umpire calls by McClure. Picks up the ball. Quick hand pass out. Oh, yes. gee whiz, he nearly ran to the umpire there. McClure again back into the play. Uh, pick it up by Robertson. Robertson has a step kick for a goal. Can he put it through? The umpire looks good. Yes, he's put it through. And there's another excellent goal again to come. 16. Right into the square, punch down, nobody can control it. Mark Gamble just trips at the crucial time. Kernahan back to McClure, snaps the goal. We'll wait on the umpire. Mark McClure's kick Carlton second. As Brad as Bernie Evans gets it uncontested. McClure leading out and takes a good mark in that left forward pocket. Carlton bunch up there when there's a kick in. They all bunch, they kick it long over to a player running in towards the centre. On that occasion, it was Dorotic. Used to be Ken Hunter. Dorotic picked up the ball uncontested, got across to Bernie Evans, and that was re and that is responsible for the fact that the ball is now with Mark McClure in that forward pocket and hit Mark lining up for Carlton's 19th goal. Now, ball on its way. It's a uh, nice-looking kick off the boot. It sure is. So there... Over it goes now to Dean, who was a very good defender last week. Up towards Kernahan, Nilly grabbed that mark, he's picked it up on the rebound. Now I don't know whether he meant to pass that to McClure, but once you grab him, that's a pass. No chance in the world was it meant, but it doesn't matter, Lou. As it was going in the right direction, it went to the right player, and the chance of Carlton's second goal. Well, McClure would be only about 25 metres out from goal directly in front. Two goals, one thirteen. Hawthorne to Carlton, one goal, six points. This could be their second goal. There it is on its way. We'll wait on the result. It's a goal, so can't move to two goals. Attacking in the last 15 minutes. Meldrum's kick into the square. Kernahan, strong mark. What a ripper grab that was. Well, he hasn't kicked a goal no, he's yet. he's not playing it to Kernahan, it's McClure. This fellow's a marvel too. He's been around a long time. He's played some great games for Carlton, particularly in the finals. And that is the... Uh, the uh, hallmark of a great uh, player, Pete. Now, McClure, will he run around or have the shot? Plenty of daylight between the posts. The pockets at VFL Park, not that deep. Goal number two for Mark McClure. From point blank range, you have to fall over to miss it. Two goals to McClure. Carton back in front. Right on siren time. A loose man going, looking for McClure, and he's took it away from Langford. Now, he'd be about 40 metres out from goal. Let's see whether the uh, captain can kick this one from. He's already kicked two. There it is on a three. It might be a goal. It is. Great goal and great play by McClure. He's third goal. Brilliant this afternoon. Bounce favours McClure. Oh, beautiful. Here's a goal. 14 points the difference now in favour of Carlton. That's what they wanted. Murphy's first goal. 
And 31 minutes gone. The difference, 28 points still in favour of Gartless McClure. And the Carlton skipper runs to an open goal. Five.